क्लास एट चैप्टर साउंड मॉड्यूल थ्री स्पीड ऑफ साउंड हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ साउंड ट्रेवल्स एंड इट कैन ट्रेवल इन ऑल द थ्री मीडिया दैट इज सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस फ्रेंड्स लेट एस फर्स्ट सी वेदर साउंड कैन ट्रेवल इन वैक्यूम और रिक्वायर्स अ मीडियम टू ट्रेवल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेट्स डू एन एक्टिविटी वट इज द एम ऑफ आर एक्टिविटी The aim of our activity is to show that sound requires a medium to travel. What do we need to do this activity? We need an electric bell, a glass bell jar, a vacuum pump, a battery, a key or switch, some connecting wires and a cork. Now let us start the activity. Take a glass bell jar and place the electric bell inside it and then connect it to a battery and a switch. with the help of connecting wires now close the glass bell jar with an air tight cork after that press the switch to on position when you do this you will observe that when the switch is pressed the hammer of the electric bell strikes the gong and a sound is produced now remove the air present inside the jar gradually with the help of a vacuum pump again press the key and notice the change in the sound now allow the air to enter the jar gradually and observe the change in sound again you will observe that as the air is taken out the loudness of the sound decreases and becomes too faint and after removing all the air no sound is heard even though the hammer of the bell is seen striking the gong as before and as the air again starts entering the jar gradually you will find that the sound start increasing slowly so what do we conclude from this activity we conclude here that sound requires a medium to travel and it cannot travel in vacuum have you understood good friends do you know there is no atmosphere on the moon it means there is vacuum on the surface of the moon so we cannot hear any sound on the moon therefore the astronauts talk with each other through radio sets why it is because radio waves can travel in vacuum also so have you understood that sound needs a medium to travel and it cannot travel in vacuum good now let's move on to the next topic speed of sound friends you know that sound can travel in solids liquids and gases right but does the speed of sound remain the same in all media no sound travels with different speeds in different media friends speed of sound depends on the density and nature of the medium it also changes with atmospheric conditions like temperature atmospheric pressure and humidity but how does it change we shall discuss this in higher classes so what do we understand here we understand here that speed of sound depends on the density and nature of the medium it changes with atmospheric conditions like temperature atmospheric pressure and humidity friends sound travels the fastest in solids slower in liquids and the slowest in gases it means the speed of sound is maximum in solids have you understood good friends have you ever noticed why we hear thunder after a flash of lightning is seen during a thunderstorm yes absolutely correct it is because the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second is greater than the speed of sound that is 340 meter per second so if i ask you why do we hear thunder after a flash of lightning is seen what will you say you will say we hear thunder after a flash of lightning is seen because speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second is greater than the speed of sound that is 340 meter per second have you understood good 
Friends, here we have completed this module. Now let us revise the main points. First is sound needs a medium to travel. And then we discussed sound cannot travel in vacuum. And then we discussed about the speed of sound in different media. Sound travels the fastest in solids, slower in liquids and the slowest in gases. And then we told you speed of light is greater than the speed of sound. I hope you have clearly understood the concepts discussed and you will be able to answer all the questions based on this module very well. Now let us do the exercises.